have lost your ways. Or if not, how may I help you? So Bandy, Bandy, you again? Biro, now let me tell you. In this same land, eh? Let me tell you something. You have no help to render me. Ah. I should suppose to ask you that question. Hello? <laughs> oh. What are you insinuating, Biro? This piece of land belongs to me. You know, your brother sold it to me. You know it. You Belong know it, Biro. Belong to who? Me! You are an idiot! A fool! A black he goat! Now let me tell you something. If you know what is better for you, take yourself out of this land, or else you see the bitter part of me. Listen to me, Biro. You silly on fool. Get away from this land before something else happens. Hey! Everybody step up! Hey, boy. Biro, continue to do the job. Now let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You are nothing but an idiot! A dog! A goat in fact! Leave Biro. my land right now. You are calling me a dog. Go. In my own land. Now let me. I see. should leave. You are nothing. You are mad. I am mad. Yes, you are mad, Biro. I am mad. You are mad. Okay. Go. Biro, stop. Go. I said go. Biro, stop. Biro. Biro. Go. Okay, you wait. I said you must go. You wait. Let me see you are mad. Stay mad. Stop. All right. You are mad. The picture take you. You wait. Boy, continue to walk. Let me see how he can come here and disturb me. most respectable chiefs. I greet you all. Thank you. 
I brought you this collar note as a token of respect. May it be appreciated in good faith. Your greeting is humbly accepted. Blessing and benediction and respect restore unto those who have fountain of honor of this land as traditions and custom demands. Appreciation, my dear chiefs. The cloud is not sunk in without rainfall. I brought you this day complaint of assault and multiple threats against a client's man who almost killed me at my land site yesterday. My chiefs, as I am talking to you now, this moment, one of my workers is badly damaged at the native Shuai. Following aftermath of an attack by some hooligans on us. This complaint I bring to you. For your justice, your intervention is highly needed. Who is this miscreant that is not shedding his own spots? My chief, it's nobody but Vandy. Vandy? What? Yeah? Oh my. Sako Banco. I checked the lie on it. And he almost altered a statement that he is not afraid of you, the chief. In this chiefdom. What? An attempt of murder in this land? What a sacrilege, whatever madness or reasons that give Vandy the gods to do what he has done, he should be brought here to face justice. He should be brought here. Take your seat, my brother. Yes. Take your seat. Dad! Dad! Yes, you! Go and bring him here now! Okay, At chief. once! Okay, Chief. And look, make sure. Make sure he does not escape. Okay? Yeah. Okay, Chief. Yeah. Go! Let's go. Go so now. Go. go immediately. Bring me some more food, eh? Bring more food. What? Some more food? Mm-hmm. Where did you borrow this one? Some appetite and constant food. Mm -hmm. Look, you eat a lot these days. Mm-hmm. You're eating almost every table full of food in this house. Do you want us and the children to go starve and start begging for my neighbors for food? <laughs> Too many questions, women. Which one should I answer first? Oh, no. oh. Mm. But let me tell you something. If it were not for the too much food I've been consuming in this house, I wouldn't have had the guts. I wouldn't have even had the caliber to confront and dismantle that stupid fool of a cow, Biro, on my land yesterday. Yesterday? Mm -hmm. But you did not tell us about it. Oh. I mean, as your wife, we suppose we should know every bit of what is happening in our house. Really? I think you have some point here. I've been feeling you. And I've been bothering you so much over this land saga. Okay, that's Yes, sir. This is it. Grab him and let's go. What have I done? Put me down. Put me down. Put me down. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What have 
Oh, now I know. It's you, Biro. What gives you the audacity Chief. to attempt murder? Chief, my respectable chief, elders, hold on. Not so much. It is true that the said land used to be the property of Biro's late younger brother. Wait, wait, wait. Hey. Let me understand something. Did you say he paid me? I, Van de Golavogui, gained ownership of the said land wait, two wait, years wait. ago. And that was before his late brother passed away. He was aware of the transaction. It's a lie! Look! My chief, I'm not aware of any transaction that exists between Bali and my brother. All what he is saying, Life. And it is a conspiracy. Biro, are you sure? I'm not carrying water in my mouth. I'm saying the truth. I'm not aware of any transaction. For God's sake. Okay, let us make this simple. Bandy, can you please explain how did the transaction take place? Thank you very much, my elders. The late man owed me through and through. So, in an arrangement to settle his debt, he battered the land plus a cash bargain of 15,000 pounds to me with this very bureau under signing as guarantee. Let me understand something. Did you say he paid you the money and it transferred the land plus money in exchange for his debt? Yes, he transferred ownership of the land to me. It's a lie! It's a lie! Biro. Bali, there should be no fighting over this issue. Though, my chief, you should listen to both sides before giving verdict in this matter. But, Bandi, do you have any other witness to clarify this point? Yes, Baboma was a witness to the transaction. My he God. was. Yes. Baboma is out of the village at the moment. I see. You see? Until we get Baboma to clarify this point. Okay, owing to his absence, I decree that this matter is suspended until his return. And I declare that both of you, no one will step foot on that land until we discuss the matter and know who is the rightful owner. But, but that is my decision. I have to walk. And said, who is the rightful owner? I have, I have to walk, Chief. Chief, I have to walk. That land is our private property. I have spoken. You okay, Chief? Go with your monkey and baboon. Hey, Mama. Ah, Dinaba, my daughter. How are you? I'm fine. I brought you a meal. I hope you did not sneak out with it today. I did, Mama. But I don't want you to starve. I know, my daughter. But please try not to do it next time. I will. Let me go and help Mama to prepare the evening meal. I'll come back and see you.
Hey, what am I seeing? Who chopped my banana? Who chopped my banana leaves? Who chopped my banana leaves? Saleh, I did. I only got some foolish to cover our husband's mail. You know you will be returning from his journey today. Hmm. Huh? I stuck for life. Who gave you the authority to cut my hair? But I did it for our husband. What is wrong with that? Hmm. You are asking me. After you place your non casty hands in my plan. Hey, look, Saleh. And now you are asking me. The fact that I cut your banana leaf does not mean that you should talk to me in such an aggressive manner. Who do you think you are? Oh, you, you are asking me. After I cut my lips, you still have the guts what to ask do? me all questions. What can you do? Ah, you don't know what to do. I will show you something. I will show you Stupid fight! Ask your mother! Answer! What's What is What do you want with you? What do you want? Ask your wife! Answer! Answer! Stop the you hit me first! Stop the Get back, stay back, stay back. Huh? Is this the example you want to get for my children? Huh? What is wrong with you women? Hey, what is wrong with you? Is that the way to behave? Unless I don't ever show you. So, the wife has to get my permission. She has not allowed me to be the entire to live in this house for once. Is that the way? Is that so? Ask her. She got my banana. Huh? And she doesn't talk to me before. I'll do that. And why did you put the banana in? I didn't choke over your food. Ah. Eh? Oh. What? I don't understand you two. What, what, what's, what, what's really going on here? What's happening here? Huh? Stop it! Ask her! Ask her for what? What, what, what is going on here? Ask her, wife. Shut up! Why are you saying I'm so? My house. It's your battle field. Is that why I marry you people? You killed him. I did not. You killed him. He's the next scarcity in this land. <laughs> Papa, Mama. And yet, see her. How come? My sister. Papa. Mama. It was because of a continuous stubbornness. And I fled to the death of our husband. <laughs> Desire to kill her Vandy, we've looked into the matter from all angles. And it is known for ages that that land belongs to Bigo and his family. So it is my judgment that you leave that land for Bigo and his family. I have spoken. 
plus a fine of two main ships and four baskets of cassava. For people, that is my judgment. I will go over the case of late Baboma's wife. What you have done in this land is a taboo. We accept that it was a mistake, so says the elders. But in order to stop it in your current, I said no to short action. Both of you have decided to become a widow, and a widow you shall remain. And no man, I repeat myself, no man in this land shall marry any of you. It is my judgment. Anna, it is our tradition and custom demands us to do right. The property of your late husband, the, the house, we are. Your husband left you with the yours. And the rest of the properties and his wealth. No, Chief. This is not justice. This is not justice. I said it's not Succeeded in destroying my happiness. You took the life by breeding children to my husband. Why? I remain silent. You laughed at me all day. You have succeeded in dividing the attention of my husband as if what you have done is not enough. You have succeeded in taking all what my husband has to die. Why must you leave? Go. Are you with me along the road? Oh my pastor. I am not sure that you are aware of the situation. Nathan. What situation are you talking about? Muhammad Rasulullah. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Allah, Allah, Allah. Oh, God. Evil are taking all over our village. No, in the name of Jesus. Muhammad Rasulullah. Muhammad Rasulullah. No. Oh my. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Oh, in the Allah wa subhanahu wa ta'ala We give you all the glory Pastor I had a dream last night Allah wa subhanahu wa ta'ala And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Sent me dream last night yeah. As Allah wa subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the holy Quran Wa ma kalatu jina wa insan ilahi abudu Oh Allah Allah wa subhanahu wa ta'ala He said that he doesn't create mankind 
and the devil for any other thing unless we do sure, worship yes, Allah and worship yes, one another Allah. 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 we give you all the glory all the honor all the duration in my dream last night I had people with black standing all over our village no in the name of Jesus the blood of Jesus cover us in the name of Allah Jesus oh, my God. God. to my brother we need to pray. We need to pray. We need to pray right away. We need to pray. We need to pray. We need to pray. We need to pray. Right now we go and pray. Let's go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Who praise the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hi. Good day to this house. Good day. Is everything the matter? No, no, no. I'm here to share my condolence with you guys. Oh, you're welcome. Please have a seat. Oh, thank you. Pasley, go in. Geneva. I know it's not easy. I mean, you lost both your parents. Please take out. It's okay. We have through that in the past now. Our lives must go on. Fine, that's fine. You see, another thing is, now that they are gone, you need someone that can take good care of you and your kid sister. You're right. And I'm willing to do that. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy to hear that. <laughs> no problem, sit down. And Geneva, I would like to marry you. What? Yeah, I want to make you my wife. Is that why you're here? But Geneva. But me. Or whatever you call yourself. I think you have overstayed your welcome. I'm afraid you have to leave now. No, wait. Jenny, you are asking Botne to leave your house? Oh, yes, you had me. Leave my house! No, wait, wait. This is Botne. Oh, yes, I had you. Leave my house. I should leave. Oh, yes, leave. Eh? Yeah. Okay. Mama, Kone. Okay. Kone! No problem. You are not to me. You are not to me. What are you grumbling about? Imagine, he came to share his condolence, ending up proposing my wedding. What? Yes, your brother has got to do that. Oh yes, are you part of this? Me? Part of what? I have no idea whatsoever. But there is one thing I've noticed with the young men of this village. You know, they are very self-centered and sluggish. They only think about themselves. I don't know why. Maybe. That is the only thing you have noticed again. Hmm. But I can tell you this without hesitation that they are very mean and impolite. <laughs> You're right, my sister, but please forget them. Where is my Siri? She's inside. Can you see Yeah. Siri. Assalamu alaikum. That is a blessing for those who answer the greeting of you. That is the saying of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But none one did. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder. You, who call yourself man of God, all what you care about in this town is to go 
from place to place looking where you can get the best palm wine for you and chasing <laughs> all the fine beautiful women even by himself about this wife <laughs> <laughs> it is not a crime for people that are closer to God to appreciate the food that comes from him in the name of palm wine. That's why it says in his word, say, say, drink and be merry. Drink for that is for that stomach's sake. Mm. Say, drink when you're thirst. For my elders, let's drink the peace experiment. Drink. My elders, let's drink in peace. Let's drink. Let's drink. This is from God to man. Yeah. <laughs> Don't support them by Easter. That is why they are always blasphemy against God. Who told you all those lies? I choose to marry any woman I want. As Allah wa subhanahu wa ta'ala said, He said that, Let Razo Muzina, you cannot even go closer to any woman that do, does not belong to you. So I choose to marry any woman I want, unless the one that does not have been. Am I right? The people's wife. That's it. <laughs> Yes! Fake men of God! <laughs> you are all nothing what? These are all trying times. Not in death. Yes. Plagues. Yes. Children. Yes. You get untimely death. Yes. There is no difference between fathers and children, mothers and sons. <laughs> you know. That is why. Forget about these people, my brother. Let us drink and marry. How can Allah was one of Allah accept you? You do not pray. You should first of all believe Him and worship Him. As Allah was one of Allah said, We mark Allah to dinner with insan ilaya abudu. Allah was one of Allah. He does not create mankind and the devil any other thing unless we to worship Allah wa subhanahu wa ta'ala inshallah we should kneel down and worship Allah wa subhanahu wa ta'ala pray how long will you be praying and no answer comes to remedy this subject this situation you call this exercise you do worship all I see is those in front of you and those that are in the middle Lord, <laughs> Lord. and then and those that are yeah. behind yeah. those that are behind and <laughs> no, this is blasphemy to the highest degree. If it's in a society where Sharia is, your head should be cut off. But I pray that Allah wa subhanahu wa ta'ala we forgive you. Definitely, inshallah, Allah we forgive you. Actually, I don't blame you at times. At the same thing. Hansulun Fulun. We have different types of fools. That's the meaning of Azulun Fulu. So you are the Zulu. He is the Fulu. You belong to one. Mm -hmm. The Zulu and the Fulu. Yes. These are different types of fools. <laughs> Baba. Let me ask you a question. Uh -huh. Are you not our foot? The vision I had last night, the Lord spoke to me. God said, all those that are about 40 will die. Um, are you truly 40 and above? <laughs> My daughter said I'm 35. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, these people are afraid to die. They are afraid to die. The holy Quran, you respected him. Say that. Allah Mawdiyati Bakhtatan. 
allemaal die had die mag dat dan. The death we always meet the unexpected. But for you, the old man, you are very close to the line of death. Yeah. Go and ask your forefathers who are over there, lying there. Go and ask them, you fake men of God. <coughs> Don't pray. Don't take the name of the Lord and God in vain. For it is written, let us drink. It is those that, that are still bitterness in death. They are the very people that are causing problems in this land. Oh, yes. yes. I tell you. But one day, someday, God will expose all these our evil drugs. So all those evil drugs in this land. Hey, what is good about the afternoon? Auntie, I'm hungry. Please give me some food to eat. Will you shut up? Auntie, please give me some food to eat. Did your late mother left any food? No sense. Sister, where are you? I'm hungry. Sister, where are you? I'm hungry. Oh my God. Why are you crying? Are ah, you the only one at home? I don't find my sister. I don't know where she has gone. Is that why you are crying? Stop the crying. Your sister will be back soon. Hmm? Hey, I have some food here. I know you'll be hungry by now. Some food? Mm, thanks. My sister told me not to collect any food from strangers. Yes, your sister is right. But I'm not a stranger. See. I live around here. My name is Munda and I'm Mama Awa's son. So take, please. I know you must be hungry by now. Hmm?
Masi, so you can remember me. Ah, you are such a smart girl. How are you today? I'm fine. Masi, where do you know this man? He is the one that gave me so good the other day. Oh, so you're the one that's been helping her. Thank you very much. No, 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 no. It's okay. Anyway, my name is Simunda, son of Mama Hawaii and a late Mafofana. I'm Geneva. My mother used to say that your father was a very nice man. That's not surprising. You know, our parents are known for their kind-heartedness. I still have to thank you. You must have resembled your father generously. <laughs> I think I'm too flattered. Do I deserve all what you've said about me for some just mere fruit? That's nothing for goodness sake. You deserve more than that. Oh, thank you. Are you bringing more food today? Yes, my little friend. I think I will have to bring you some fresh food this evening. Thank you. We have to go now. The wood is getting heavy. Okay. Then I'll have to see you in the evening. Okay, thank you. Marcia, take very good care of yourself, eh? I don't love him. I don't love him. Is that not Uma also? Huh? What is he doing in the lion's den? Mm -hmm. Hey, I can't believe this. I've been watching them closely these days. <laughs> she wants to mess around this village after this night. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, please. Yes, sir. I don't believe I don't that Geneva is messing around. I don't believe that Lady Munda came and sympathized with her. What are you saying? Sympathize indeed. Are you the gods? Are you the gods? Mama. And please let don't judge her yet for goodness sake. Mm -hmm. I have to hurry up now. Hey. As I was saying. My sister is dying. Mother, please. Please come and help me. What is happening to her? I don't know. I don't know. This morning, she woke up speechless. What? You mean she can't talk? <laughs> she can't talk. <laughs> Where is she at the moment? She does not know. What is happening here? <laughs> and why all this noise? It's my little friend's sister. <laughs> she said she's ill and I and I need to help her. Who is she? She's my kid sister. Her name is Linke. Oh, the daughter of Nate Baboma. Yes, Mama. You know, Geneva, just wait for me here. I'll be back. Okay. What is exactly wrong with the system? Mama, I don't know. Mama, I need you people to wait for me here. Please, I'll be back soon. Please. My son. Okay. Okay, Mama. Mama, what is what are you with that cross girl? What did you say? Their family is evil. But I should stop seeing her before they could harm him. Will you shut up? What do you know? What have you seen? 
That girl's family is evil. Don't you know that? Will you shut up and get inside? Stupid girl. Where are you going? 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 I've gone everywhere shouting for you. But I couldn't trace you straight back home. My son, I'll be safe. Since yesterday, I never set my eyes on you. And what is that? Simon Fonia, now the best. We're not getting out of this place. Simon Fonia, 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 Munda! Yes, Mama. It's almost late. Where are you coming from? And where is the money stored for my Say something to me! How would you do such a thing? I used to. For what? You know I reserve that money for our food and medicine. The money was preserved for food and medicine. God has answered your charity because I've already used the money for the right purpose. Because, yeah. Why are you so unreasonable? You don't care about your health and even how we feel about you as a person. Since your father died, all I've noticed in you is pain and suffering. For God's sake, Mama, stop reminding me of my father's death. I am a full grown man, strong enough to take care of you and even Yenke. Yes, it is not my fault to dwell under the same roof of my parents at this particular age. So spare me all this. Oh. It's okay, Mama. Okay. Mama. Mama loves you. And all what she's saying is for your own good. Oh. Mama, please, take it easy, please. Oh. What is happening here again? And why all this noise? Can somebody rest in this house? Jagen, he's your brother. He came home late, and nobody knows where he is. I thought he went out with that thing, Jennifer. And what is wrong with me going out with her? Is that true? Yes. She came here this morning and they went out together. Yenke, mind your business. Mind your business, Yenke. Mama, please, warn Yenke. Warn her, please. Mama, I told you, if you started changing him, stop him now before something else happens. Shut up. What do you know? Mama, advise him. Advise him to stay away from her. Shut up. Stop with sticker, sit me all the time. She's a kid sister. I'm here, man. She loves you, right? So now tell me, you are my best friend. What is going on with you and that girl? <laughs> what, man? Yes, Mula. Why are you so suspicious? I just want to know. You want to know everything, right? Everything. Alright. Let's go inside. Then I'll explain everything you need to know. Okay. Alright. The atmosphere is so cold, lonely and dark. Why do you choose to come here? Cold, lonely and beautiful. 
it may not be favorable at some places, but it is cool out here. My late father used to say that even the forest need friends, and I am addicted to it. Yes, you are right. At the time of trouble, one is a friend. Linda, I want to thank you for your help yesterday. It must be you. I see you have been dead by now. No, Jennifer. Don't talk like that. Nothing will happen to Marcy, I assure you. I wonder what will I have to do with you. Look, Geneva, Masiga is my best friend, and I will always treat her like my own blood sister. Wunda, we indeed good thing. I share you my view and bring happiness to me and my younger sister. I want to thank you for that. Geneva, that is nothing. Wunda, please. I want to push you the spirit of Taiwan and Mercy. And I will assure you of something. Well, if I may understand you properly and cleverly, you are simply implying a friendship. And I think we are already into one. It's not that we are not friends. When I lost my parents, I thought it was the end of my life. Until when you finally met my younger sister, since that day, everything changed. And the place, I want you to accept this little bit of my heart. Please don't say no. What? Jennifer. Yes, I'm going to spend the rest of my life with you. Mama, it has taken too long since Mother left the house. And he has not come back yet. Where yeah, do you think he might have gone? Maybe he went out of the without to reach them. Will you shut up? I've told you to mind your business. What do you know about that poor girl? Mama. Mama, I've told you that girl's family is evil. Don't you know that? I said you should shut up! What is wrong with you? And you again? I'm not fine. Oh. Oh. Munda. Munda, you have grown. You have grown mm -hmm. to the highest degree. Okay. Munda. Munda of all people. Munda is as far as he is. Oh. God. Munda, my great friend. Utsman, Utsman. My brother, how are you today, brother? I'm fine. Munda. Yes, my brother. I've been observing you these few days. Uh huh. You look very, very happy. Are you sure? Yeah. What makes your heart happy, and what is all this excitement all about? Utman, you know you are my best friend, and also my brother, yeah. and also my very, very good brother. I won't hide anything from you. Yeah. Utman, our people say when the heart is happy, the man is also bound to be. <laughs> so tell me, what makes your heart happy? You want to know? 
everything. You sure you want to know? Definitely. Good man. You see? Ah, people say the right things. Man. Yes, thank you. Your friend is going crazy these days. Is Please he? ask him is what he? is wrong with him. <laughs> Jenkin! Yeah. What do I want you to stay off my business? What is all this? Huh? Oh, man, I'm begging in the name of God. Please advise him to stay away from her. Okay, okay. I'll talk to her. You know what? Get him! What is all this? This girl wants to kill me in this house. She's a kid sister. Come on. And she should act like mom. What is all this? So you for that. She's a kid sister. She loves you, that's why. So tell me, what makes you happy with you? <laughs> 